So what we have here is we have a man with a floor polisher and what we need to do is we need to find the force F needed to keep this um, polisher from just rotating due to the torque of the motor. And so that is what we're going over in this video. If you want a video explaining this equation and the equations for um, pivot bearings and collar bearings, you can click on this video link. And if you find this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe. So the first thing we want to do is we want to identify our different variables we have in here that we need to plug into our equation. So we have our coefficient of kinetic friction, 0.3, and we have P, which is our axial load on the disc, and that is 80 pounds, which is the weight of the, of the machine. And then you have your radius, R, which is going to be half of this diameter of the disc. Now, we are solving, this equation sol is solved for a moment, but uh, we're trying to find the force, and where that plays in is the moment is a force times a distance. Well, we have our distance here given in the length of the, um, of the handle on this, and then because it is tilted up at an angle, we will need to find the perpendicular distance um, from the axis of the moment of that from the machine. So we are going to plug in these variables and we're solving for F. So we'll have the F multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is going to be four feet times the cosine of 30 degrees. And that's like the distance between here and here. So that the force is acting perpendicular, that'll give us our moment. So that's four cosine of 30 degrees equals two thirds times coefficient of kinetic friction, which is 0 0.3. And then multiply that by P, which is 80 and then our radius which is two or our radius is one half of two so that's just one so multiply all that by one which won't actually do anything but we'll divide the four cosine of 30 over to this side and then we have solved for f plug all that into your calculator and you get that f is 4.62 pounds and that is the force required for this man pushing sideways because we're saying that this um, disc is rotating uh, clockwise. If you're looking from the top, it's going to try to push the handle this way. So the man has to push it in the other way to keep it from rotating. So that is a pretty simple example of um, applying frictional forces to discs. If you want another example problem that is a little bit more complicated that goes over collar bearings. You can click on this video link. And if you found this video helpful, hit that like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them down in the comments. If you want to buy some merch from Student Engineering, I've got links down in the description to Amazon and Teespring, and buying that stuff helps me out a lot. So if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer, Student Engineering, and my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.